welcome once again to Yardy Belly's Kitchen each and every one. Today I am doing a uh, curried fish. Yes, curried fish. I bought some um, yellowtail snapper from Presidente and they, they did a good job to clean it up for me. But I, I had to go over it with a little bit of lime juice and stuff to make sure that everything is, you know, per um, perfect. As you can see, the, the eyes have hazed over a little bit. That's because of the acidity of the lime juice. But when I bought them, this was clear, meaning that the fish is fresh. Now, the other thing that you have to do is check for the, the smell. If it smells like fish, it's not fresh. It has to smell like the ocean. There is a highly uh, uh, distinct variety uh, or distinction, rather. Sorry, there's a high distinction with fish smell from fresh ocean smell. All right, so these are good to go. All right, what I have um, to put in my fish, I'm gonna go very, very simple with this dish, is a little bit of thyme, scallions, a piece of ginger, um, onion, I have some cilantro, I have some callaloo or Jamaican spinach. You can use spinach if you want, but I have some callaloo that I'm gonna put um, in the head just to keep it pretty. And I have some okras or okra that we use in Jamaica. Um, Jamaicans, you cook fish, okra for your night. Whether it's, you know, whatever, which way you cook the fish, okra have to involve. All right, so I'm, I have, you know, garlic salt and a little bit of lemon pepper, just, just because I have those. Um, my wife, gave me two different kinds of curry. Um, yeah, this is one that she, she collects herself in a container there. And this one is another one, better flavor. Generally, Jamaicans will like use Jamaican curry um, or Indian curry. That's what you say, right? Indian curry, you say, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have coconut milk. As usual, if we are doing curry and we are doing curry sauce, the coconut milk works very, very good with the fish. So let's get started. I just wanted to show you real quick, you know, what I do with my okras. You know, because... Uh, this is how the okras come when they're picked, right? But I generally just take the knife and just cut the end off right there, you know? And if the tips are rugged, I cut the tips off as well. But we're gonna use these um, whole in the dish, right? Because it's, it's like just putting a vegetable in the, in, the, in the pot. It's not really to say it will add or, or take away anything from the curry. You don't have to use it if you don't want to. Um, part of what I do, uh, you know, what we do here at, in, in Yadibeli's kitchen is to create our own fusion. It's, you know, food is not no hard and fast, stereotypical type of dish. You do what you want to do. In my dish, I like okra. My wife like okra. The little boy like okra. Funny enough, the little boy like okra. So we we'll work with it. All right. And of course, we're going to also add some garlic because I never remember to mention garlic. So garlic will be added. So here we are just putting pepper and some salt in the head before we, um, you know, before we add the callaloo. Let me just put the pepper first. If you can see, we clean out the head as much as possible. You know, it still looks nasty to me, but that's just how the fish head look. May I drop in one, 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 um, one ginger, piece of ginger in there. And this is just to put extra flavor in the head, right? Mm -hmm. Just for extra flavor. Um, I'm gonna use garlic salt instead of regular salt and you know um, so that it, it again infused with flavor all right so garlic salt in that one there and some garlic salt in this one here again just for extra flavoring um, and then we just put some color look Now this is uh, this is unusual for um, curry fish, ladies and gentlemen. Most people just put in the fish in the pot and curry it. But what do you think? See, can work, right? Yeah, of course, nothing can work. All right, so that that's for the that part. All right, so we're going black pepper this part and all of them part too. Yeah. Black pepper. A little sprinkling of garlic salt, of course, because it's going to be steamed down in, in our sauce. We don't really need a whole ton of, um, you know, seasoning right now. 
you know, I'm gonna put a little bit of lemon pepper as well, just become a lighter flavor. But you don't have to, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Um, at this stage, do we do? Should we put the curry and the fish? Or do we just make the curry sauce? Just oil up the curry and curry up the oil and nice it up and ray and take. Yeah, Never curry up the oil. Yeah. Curry up the oil. All right. So the, what I'm gonna do now is curry up the oil. So we have put our pot on the fire and it is thoroughly, it's heated thoroughly and we're using some coconut, organic coconut oil um, as the oil for our, our dish and um, as you can see we're not really going to use too much oil because this is a steaming thing, you know, it's a cook down thing, right? So we're not going to use too much oil. I'm keeping the stove relatively low and i'm gonna start to add my ingredients oh now i'm gonna add the curry wait a second add the two of them the two style of curry yeah a little of each all right come hold the turn open this to me i'm gonna want Sorry. them burn. and this is how you 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 basically cook the curry you understand you just add it to the oil all right i'm putting a little bit more of this one than normal you know but see your curry is basically allow you're allowing your curry to sort of burn but not overly burn by this time as you start to smell it get strongly it get more stronger in the house you're ready for putting your stuff then right right all right so i put in my garlic see the curry bright already and I have to turn my stove down. It look brown. It look brown because it's in other pot. I add my my onion. Oh, that's not good. Quick saute. I'm not even gonna allow this to stay too long. Add my ginger. And then I'm gonna lay my fish in the pot. You saw the curry bright? Look there, look at the curry bright. See? Mm -hmm. See? It looks black in the pot, but it's bright and pretty. Lay my bread. No, I mean my fish down. <laughs> And there you have it. The fish is in the pot, ladies and gentlemen. It is in the pot. All right, curry smells strong too. My fish is in the, the pot and um, I'm just gonna add the pièce résistance. <laughs> Uh, it's a, or the thing that will nice up the whole thing which is my coconut milk here I have half a cup well a, a, a one whole cup half a package of grace coconut milk and I'm just gonna add this to my fish and there let me see my mistake mm -hmm. there you can see what is happening now now I turn back the fire up all right now i turn up at the fire because i don't want the fish to in any way form or fashion burn so i just keep it low while the onions cook a little bit and now i turn my fire up to make this stew down nicely in the curry and i add my scallion thyme and all of the other little stuff then i might put some um, carrot in there just for for color you know, to make it look pretty. I know you plan to add scotch bonnet pepper. And the scotch bonnet pepper. All right. So my fish is starting to do its thing. Okay. So my curry is going on fine. Right now I'm adding some um, scotch bonnet pepper. And I, as you know, I keep my pepper frozen in the, in the, in the refrigerator. So it, it, it sort of reduces the amount of heat. 
and it allow it to stay for a longer time without wilting so I add my pepper and now I'm adding my okra and again as I said this is this is not a hundred percent you know what everybody else would do but I like okra and Jamaican men especially love them okra and them fish okay so I'm adding my okra at this stage all right and my fish is is doing its thing I'm just gonna allow it to do its thing cover the pot allow it to do its thing you know and pretty much I check back after another 15 minutes if so long you know I'm putting a little bit more water because I don't want it to dry out or the curry to to you know and then I turn the stove back down make it just simmer that's all you want for it to just simmer all right all right there you have it ladies and gentlemen the curry fish look very very nice may just add the carrot them for color you know but as it is right now pot can be turned off food ready okra them well cooked i'm leaving the carrot them a little bit crunchy because me no mind the vegetable you know some baby organic carrots that i had in the fridge you know but this is it i'm gonna serve it uh with some rice and peas you can serve it with whatever you want you know food ground provision you know white rice you want to serve it oh me you know me me have some 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 crackers you know you want me to work some crackers in there? You throw some crackers in there? Yeah. Jesus, hallelujah. Well, I put some crackers in the thing. So the wife is said to drop two crackers in it. And this is Excelsior water crackers, original Jamaican water crackers, Excelsior water crackers, fat free and all of that. And that's how you do it with this you don't even need rice you understand see there pot ready food lock up and the last thing i'm gonna add is my fresh cilantro now the wife you know like it but i think it's gonna work nice with the fish because you know fish you, you need a little tropical feel you know like a limey feel for, for make fish you know so we just put in the cilantro for garnish and then stove lock off pot cover and by the time it wilt everything ready this is the finished product ladies and gentlemen curry fish the head stuff with some callaloo water crackers okra carrots cilantro curry sauce gravy everything at nice sweet wife you can't wait for god in a hit remember you had the belly in a foreign good food unusual yeah it might be unusual but what we have is what we work with find a way to blend your jamaican palate with your ingredients that you have in your local area you had the belly in a foreign hey peace